In today's video, we're in Tucson, Arizona. We're going to go up Mount Lemon, a large mountain at the base of Tucson. Go on Catalina Highway here. We're going to part way up to a place known as Gordon Hibashi Trailhead. Uh, it takes you down through Sycamore Canyon on the Arizona Trail. We're going to do some overnight camping here. I'll show you what that looks like as well as a uh, view to the north up towards Hutch's Pool and the Catalinas and what the snow situation might look like here in 2023. Like I said, this is part of the Arizona Trail, AZT. Uh, it's a trail that goes from Mexico all the way to Utah. This is probably one of the more beautiful sections of the trail, in my opinion. Do a lot of backpacking, hiking in this area. Uh, so hopefully I can give you some insights of what the area might look like. It's a great place for backpacking. Just head up to the highway here and take an exit at Gordon Hibashi. As you exit the Catalina Highway here, about a third of the way up the mountain, uh, you will notice that there's no cacti in this section uh, that's at lower elevation so you're in the country it's more like live oak similar to texas here the first part of this road in here is actually through a campground gordon Hibashi campground it has a few sites in there you can camp overnight for a fee i think the fee is about 20 bucks you'll see a few campers in this campground uh, when we were here in January, there was a little bit of snow on uh, the campground itself. Well, as you can see, is pretty nice. Spaces are wide between sites, and it actually has fault toilets for bathrooms. So if you're coming off the trail on the AZT or looking for a camp, someplace to camp, this might be a good spot for you if you're looking for some amenities, I guess, of uh, vault toilets and whatnot. Let's head forward to the trailhead. As you see here, not many cars here the day we were here. Uh, this is also a corral area, but this is where you can pick up the AZ Tree, the Arizona Trail, and head down through Sycamore Canyon over the saddle down to the dam that what used to be known as Prison Camp, the old World War II concentration uh, camp for the Japanese back in the 1940s. Taking a quick look at a map that we leave, you head out on a flat section and you head down towards Sycamore Canyon where we'll find the dam and our camp spot the first part of this trail is actually federally level there's a creek that runs through here um, also very popular with the climbers rock climbers you'll see them parked at the parking lot here with the ropes and gear you actually climb through this area and then you get, reach a saddle gives you a great view of the trail below you you actually descend about 700 feet down to an old dam or prison camp let's check that out after reaching the bottom into the Sycamore Canyon Reservoir area, there's plenty, plenty of trees you can see here. It's very, very nice. Sycamore Reservoir. Water's running. After checking out the dam, it's basically filled in from the 1940s. We headed further north up the canyon here, uh, looking for a camp spot for the night. We eventually stopped after about three to four miles on a ridge just above Sabino Canyon. that had some nice water. Lots of good water. This is a pretty good campsite. It's right off the trail on the AZT here. It has a fire ring. Pretty reliable source of water too, which is very important when you're out here in Arizona. After getting my tent set up, I ended up checking out the views around the area by climbing the ridge here. Camp's down there. No climb this 
ridge. Check out the creek down below. I just pool way up there. I'll leave a link in the description to what Hutch's pool looks like for backpacking if you want to check that out. Let's go climb up the creek bed here and see what we can find for the water source. Pretty awesome. source up here up the creek bed was well worth the trip uh, nice clear water to filter and uh, check out these waterfalls that are coming off the uh, Catalinas the views from this ridge line are amazing towards Hutcher's pool and watching the sunset at night prior to having our fire hanging around on the fire at night kept me warm uh, on a very very cold night uh, it was nice to have that fire fire climbing to our tent for the night. The Arizona Trail again is awesome in the Catalinas. Such beautiful scenery. If you go further up the mountain, check out the snow that we encounter. Great place to go in the winter if you want to go up here and just have fun playing in the snow, uh, including sledding. Check this out. Sled. Out here in the distance, you can see the Rincon Mountains, the next mountain range to the southeast of the Catalinas. Lots of snow, as well as the snow here in the Catalinas in January of 2023. Going to be a lot of water in the lower parts of the canyon. Sycamore Canyon that we just explored, uh, especially if you're doing the AZT or just looking to get out and doing some backpacking or just hiking. Thanks for checking out this video. Here's the sun going down as we head back home, trying to get off the mountain. If you like this type of content of exploring, backpacking, camping, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And to our next adventure, thanks for being here.